YouTubers, Pastor Bob. Well, I'm just out here in my garage today. I had to work on my uh, my motorcycle trailer. The other day I went out dirt bike riding and my lights quit working. <laughs> it was kind of funny because I drove it all the way there, then had my son-in-law check my lights <clears throat> and nothing was working. And on the way back, of course, I get this policeman pulls in behind me. He was behind me for probably maybe just a little less than a mile, but I stopped at at least four or five lights while he was behind me, so he knew I didn't have any lights or brake lights or anything, but he never pulled me over. So I think that uh, this COVID has the uh, policeman scared. So at least something good's coming out of this. But uh, anyway, I uh, had to change out my wiring harness, got that all done, and now we're good. Hey, listen, I wanted to talk to you for just a minute about accusations and have you ever noticed that uh, whenever you do something or you fail to do something all of a sudden in your mind you just get all this condemnation you know you're not you're not living right you're not doing as good as everybody else why are you having so much problem and you start to get you get frustrated because all this condemnation just comes down on you <clears throat> or maybe you go out to dinner with some friends and you'll have a glass of wine and all of a sudden boom you get all this condemnation for having a glass of wine or maybe you'll go to a barbecue with some friends and uh, you'll, you'll just you'll drink a beer while you're there and then you get all this condemnation for drinking a beer even though you know these things are perfectly okay you still get all this condemnation uh, maybe you go to bed one night and you're just you're just too tired to pray you're just too tired and you just you don't feel like it and you just go to sleep and then you know the next day you're all that condemnation for not praying that night or maybe you just have a hectic day you're so busy and you just you never find time during the day to uh, to open up your Bible and spend time with God and boom all this condemnation just comes down on you you know, this is what it says in Colossians 2, 13 to 16. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, has he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it away, nailing it to the cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of a holy day, or of a new moon, or of a Sabbath day. What I want you to understand is, there's a difference between God telling you something that you need to work on, and you doing something and all of a sudden you get all this condemnation down on you. You know, we were talking last weekend about all this demonic uh, entities that have been coming against everybody. Man, I, I've had so much demonic entity coming at me lately that it's just, it's bizarre. This right here, this is the third time this morning I've tried to film these videos. I've, I've had camera trouble, dog trouble, you name it, just everything. I did two full videos and the camera never focused. This is a Canon, it always focuses. I've just been having t trouble, I mean just complete trouble, but I just fight through and get it done. But anyway, listen, the demonic host is always there to jump on you for doing anything wrong, anything. You know, you, you, you have a glass of wine, maybe a beer somewhere, Maybe you forget to pray, forget to open your Bible that day, just too busy, and the demonic host comes in and just pounds you for those little bitty things. I mean, maybe I'm the only one that, that gets pounded for anything. Uh, maybe some of you can relate. But listen, this is what it says in Philippians 3, 13 to 14. Brethren, I count not myself having apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before. I press on toward the mark of the high calling of God 
in Christ Jesus. People, listen. This is what I want you to remember. When you're sitting there and you're reading your Bible and you're with God, right? You've prayed, you just say, Lord, as I read your word, would you please open it up to me and anything that's wrong in my life, reveal it to me. People, when you're reading the scripture, the Holy Spirit will gently say to you, hey, listen, you need to work on this. And then you say, you know what, Lord, you're right. I do need to work on that. Help me in this area. However, when you, when something accuses you, when something accuses you, that's always a demonic entity. Whenever you just forget to do something, you do something that you know is okay, but yet the accusations come, that's always a demonic entity accusing and oppressing you. You got to know the difference between the two. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope I explained that <laughs> correctly. Uh, you guys have a blessed weekend. And uh, just remember, you're going to spend eternity somewhere. You are going to spend eternity somewhere. Either in hell with Satan and all of his demonic host and then the lake of fire or in heaven, where you're going to enjoy love, joy, and peace forever. That destination is determined while you're in this body on the earth. So choose well, my friend, because once you take your last breath, it's a done deal. YouTubers, Pastor Bob. Well, my trailer lights quit working, so I've got to replace the harness on it. It's always something. <laughs> so anyway, this right here, the ground is not uh, it's not working. So this is what we got to change. So what, when you put the new one on, you stagger your wires. You cut these little guys right here in a two-inch staggered position. That way, when you crimp them all, they're not all a big fat area. So that's what we're going to do. The trick to this is a good pair of crimping tools. Done. That'll work. We'll put the sheeting back on it. And we should be good to go. Anyway, Pastor Bob Wiring 101.